All right, welcome back. So pretty exciting update today. Um, about a month, ag month ago, I finally finished getting a concrete pad put in at the house. It's been a long overdue project that's been like two and a half, three years in the making and just setback after setback. But finally got a concrete pad at the house, which is so good because it's nice to be able to park on a hard surface. I'm not tracking dirt into the house, into the truck. I can wash the truck on a hard surface and do something as simple as changing the oil without laying in the dirt is just great. So I've already broken it in. You can see some stains on it and stuff already. It's, it's gonna happen as a concrete pad and uh, it's there to, to be worked on. So we'll see, maybe one day we'll uh, take the first gen out and christen it if uh, you know what I mean, and have, have a little bit of fun here. But other than that, concrete pad is done, which is super exciting. Um, in some other news, things are getting a little bit more serious. So I came up with a logo now and uh, some stickers and some keychains. So if anybody wants these $5 a piece, um, send me a message on Instagram or comment or, you know, find me wherever. Um, I'll also put email address down in the description. If you're interested in them, let me know what you want. Right now I got the three colors available, red, blue, and black. These are 3D printed right in my house at home. I make these stickers I don't make, but I designed my own logo and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. If you're interested in buying some, just let me know. Send me a message, email me, and we'll get you hooked up. Also, um, some of the older viewers would know that a couple years ago, I made a 3D printed bracket to mount the clutch master cylinder to the firewall. And that was 3D printed back in the day. And pretty excited to now say that we have updated multiple revisions. And I am now going to start offering a fully stainless steel variation of that, along with a stainless steel option for the auxiliary plug relocation. This get when you use this bracket, you're gonna have to relocate the aux plugs if you have the factory auxiliary switches, have that bracket as well. Couple small little things I'm following up on this. I'll have its own separate release video when this is all set and done, but I'm pretty pleased on how these turns out. They are pretty sweet. Like I said, all stainless, stainless bolts, stainless threaded inserts, stainless rivets, logos acrylic. Um, these are just gonna be standard, um, really no options, just gonna be the polished stainless that they come in from where I get them cut out from, and then a black insert. Um, I have a polished one on my truck because I'm special and I chose to polish it. I don't plan on offering the polish because it's a lot of extra work on my end, but those are coming out soon. And like I said, we got stickers and we'll see. Don't really have any plans for the channel, but it's cool just to have stuff to be able to kind of throw around on stuff. Um, put a little Talbot Industries sticker on the window. Got to represent whether it's good or bad. But, you know, truck does turn some eyes sometimes, and at least everybody will know whose it is. So that's it. I'm um, looking forward to see what the future has in store, and uh, maybe I'll set some some goals, and maybe that'll be when that thing comes out and christens the old pad. So looking forward to it. Let me know. Um, thanks for the support, and... We'll see you guys later.